Hey, Mr. Gardeners, I'm back at the same house again. We looked at some caterpillars yesterday. We looked at the mimosa webworms, which are, people sometimes confuse them with tent caterpillars, but they're tent building little caterpillars. And then there's other types of caterpillars called leaf rollers that roll the leaves and live their life in there. But this one is called a leaf tear caterpillar. And we're gonna look up here close, but he builds his shelter. So 20 to 60% of all your Lepidopter species will build their own little shelter. Now the mimosa webworm we looked at yesterday, they build large community habitats and they all live inside their, web, inside their webs. This guy's a solitary caterpillar, builds his own little shelter. So come on over and take a look. You'll be as excited as I am to look at this close up. Look at this pretty little ball on the end of this orchard um, ostrich fern. Little round balls, this is about an inch in diameter. Here's another one down here. Now, from all observations that we've made so far, it looks like these little shelters have already been used and it looks like the caterpillar's already pupated. But it's just a fascinating little ball. And what we observed is it looks like they use about this much of the frond and they place their little ball at the base and they just start latticing all the little foliage as the caterpillar lives inside and he folds in all of his little leaves and he just keeps web silk webbing them over and over folding them in covering them over and builds this little lattice and then inside of it he'll feed on the leaves he defecates right inside of here he'll pupate right inside of here Ta da totally invisible nobody ever sees him except during the building stage do you want to look inside and see one of them let me break one off and we'll we'll break this more current one off. Come on over, let's take a look at what it looks like inside. Here's my little ball, about one inch. You'd think he was making the lattice on the top of a cherry pie or something, the way these all unfold. Two, three. Researchers study these and they'll manipulate the little ball shelters and observe how much energy it takes for the caterpillar to build these they find the caterpillar will lose weight during this building stage he won't feed at all while he's building his little shelter so they have to have their shelter to get protection and they wave the caterpillars and sure enough they lose weight if they have to rebuild even though they rebuild though they can pupate and still live live on but there's all kind of research done on these leaf tear that's the word for these leaf tear they're not a web worm. They're not a leaf roller. They're called leaf tear. So here's the inside. He's already finished. This is his fresh. It's all stuck to his, um, all stuck to his silt. And I don't know if I can find his pupation little case in here or not. But that's how much of the frond he used. Let me try to open it up for you. So you can get a clue of what he was using. So there's this ostrich fern again. And it's not unusual to use ostrich fern, sensitive fern. These are caterpillars that are all up and down, all throughout the United States, even out to Kansas. These are really common caterpillars. And he feeds and spends his whole life inside of this one caterpillar, inside of his little ball. So it's a fascinating life cycle. And the little shelter is actually very beneficial to the environment because there are uh, uh, spiders and things and earwigs can find protection inside of these little balls as well. So they also will eat and pupate. The, pupate sta the pupation stage is the number one most vulnerable stage of the development of any caterpillar. And so the earwig will actually climb inside of this little ball and eat the whole thing out, which is maybe not so pleasant of an experience, but it does help in the environment and it builds diversity. So there's your fascinating little, it's called the leaf tear caterpillar. I didn't tell you the science name. Let me look it up, Herpa, herptogramma. I'm pretty sure herpetogramma. I probably am pronouncing it wrong. Yeah, herpetogramma. There's three different species of these leaf tear caterpillars. Anyway, fascinating little balls on the ostrich fern. Hope you can find some too. Okay.